I'm going to install Starlink internet access. I've got um, DSL, but it's really very marginal. Um, I've got two pairs running here. I'm going to put a 4x4 post in the ground, uh, put the Starlink antenna on it. It says right here I should have uh, good, good internet access. Trench over to the house, but doing pretty good. Just got to wait a few days for the uh, Starlink satellite dish to show up. Well, we're going to run a speed test on my existing DSL. See what happens uh, once we get uh, Starlink hooked up. So this is what we got going right now. Oh, we might get eight. We might we might hit eight. My plan is uh, 10 megabits per second. Yeah, we're 8.17 megabits per second download. And the upload is not quite one megabit per second. Okay, we get the uh, Starlink antenna installed. Um, the power data cable run through some three quarter inch PEX conduit. And through the building into the router, it's up and running, working good. Originally, I had the antenna pointed northwest. Well, it did work. It, uh, it was wrong. Thanks for setting me straight on that, Paul. We got it pointed northeast now, the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now that we got Starlink installed, let's uh, run a speed test and see how it compares. Four hundred and sixteen download and eighteen upload. That's a tremendous improvement over DSL. When I was looking at some of the previous video, I noticed this loop right here. That um, that almost looks like uh, it could be a service loop for um, fiber optic wire. I know that Fidium Fiber is supposed to eventually offer fiber optic to the house um, and I'll probably change uh, from Starlink to um, fiber optic uh, when that becomes available. So that's an encouraging sign right there. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.